Good afternoon, Internet. I thought I would pick this back up for a little bit. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular that you want me to do or talk about or things like that. I honestly don't know if there's anybody even watching these. Well, I take that back. I know of at least two people that are watching this. Um, I have it muted on my side, so it shouldn't have a whole bunch of echoes. Unfortunately, that means texts are going to take a while for me to figure out how long... Or What am I even saying? Um... It's going to take me a bit to figure out how long the voice behind uh, the voice that comes up whenever you complete a new technology is because I'm muted so I can't tell. I'm just exploring. Turn complete. Okay, exploration. We're gonna hold there. So alien artifacts. Once I actually build a network node, I can use them for um, caching in for technologies. I don't even have the technology for a network node yet, never mind actually having one built, so it's going to be a while. Unfortunately, as the Hive, you're very slow in doing things. You're th slow and metho methodical. Cannot speak. I'm going to have my network, or alien artifacts sleep. Uh, let's go ahead and investigate this pod. Or I will next turn. Pod oh, sea farming pod. Sea farming pods Complete. are always nice. Um, so this is kelp. Kelp is a com well, I haven't done any forming yet, but um, kelp will grow by itself. What that means is that there's a random chance every turn that each square around kelp may have more kelp. Uh, as long as the square is an ocean shelf, which is what it says down here, uh, for instance, that is not an ocean shelf. Uh, actually, yeah. If I remember right, Regular ocean, there's a lower chance, and ocean trenches, there's no chance because it actually can't grow there. You have to dredge up the sea, get it up to a more manageable depth for you to be able to actually have kelp there. Anyway, uh, kelp grows on its own. You can also plant it with sea formers. I obviously don't have sea formers yet. In fact, this is my only sea unit. I actually can't build any others. Um, so, triggering kelp early on is quite nice. Complete. As I mentioned earlier, there's a random chance of you not being able to enter a fungus square. That's what I'm hitting over here. Um, I am actually telling the unit to go up. I'm using the keyboard in order to do so. And it's not going. Production complete. I've built a former. Hooray. I can always use formers. So I have a couple of choices that I could build now. However, to be quite honest, I'm going to build another former. As I mentioned earlier, I prefer having two formers per city. In this city's case, ideally, I would have one sea former and one land former, but it, I can't build sea formers yet. So yeah, uh, we are going to go ahead and move this former over here. We go up. Pod recovered. Ah, oh, power pod. That's not terrible. Oops, Turn did not mean complete. to do that. Sorry. Pod That's what recovered. I meant to do. Sonar pods. This gives us an idea as to what is around in this area. There's not really a whole bunch. That's the bottom of the map. Oh, I didn't realize I was that close to the pole. Um, hmm. So, um, intro to terraforming. Uh, there is a couple of basic terraforming operations. Let's, I can pop open the menu, I guess. Uh, these are the three basic terraforming things. You can farm, you can mine, you can plant a solar collector, or construct one. Um, farms add to food. The amount of food added is one, if I remember correctly, always. Mines. Mines add two resources. It adds one resource normally, or plus two resources in a rocky square. Solar collectors add one or more energy for that square, based off of the height. Namely, uh, for each thousand meters, it adds an additional one energy. So in this case, if I constructed a solar collector here, it would be plus one energy. If I constructed a mine, it would be plus one mineral. If I constructed a farm, it would be plus one food. Uh, this square right now would produce plus one food to me, I think. Let's find out. Yep, plus one food. Um, it's because it's flat. Flat lands do not produce minerals. It's moist. Moist is one food, um, rainy is two food, arid is zero food, and it only has an elevation of 126 meters above sea level, which means no additional energy. 
So really the best that I can do in this square for any of the basic terraforming types would be a farm plus a solar collector or yeah really that's about it um, when you construct a mine it's minus one food in that square so if I were to construct a farm plus a mine it would be one food two minerals if I were to construct a farm plus solar collector it would be two food and one energy alternately I can plant a forest which is what I normally do um, planting forests or, Sorry, I should go back. You can plant a farm plus either a mine or a solar collector initially. I don't have any of the advanced terraforming features yet, so that's all I can do. Um, if you are in rocky terrain, you cannot plant farms. You can plant forests in any rolling or flat terrain, and I usually plant lots and lots and lots and lots of forests. A forest will always provide you one food, two minerals, one resource or one energy. Um, once you have a bit more in the way of technology, you can build buildings that increase the amount of food and resources, or food and energy that the squares give you. But for now, it's one food, two mineral, one resource, or one energy. I keep doing that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build some forests. I like my forests. I like forests. Uh, let's see. Resupply pod. Sweet, I have money. And it located abundant mineral resources. I'm going to need a city over here at some point. Just scouting. Turn complete. Production complete. Ah, the hive now has formers. Uh, looks like the hive has finally reached population two. So what this means is now I have two workers that are working random areas. My growth is stagnant because I have no food. I'm actually going to switch this to a colony pod. Um, Two, re uh, two workers means double the number of people for, you know, working the land. I can, can turn these people into doctors. Um, I can't produce and I can't choose anything else for the time being. Uh, once it actually comes up, I'll go through what the different um, specialists you can have are. Right now, it's not really going to come up. I'm going to build a colony pod because the hive is kind of slow in growth as it is right now. There's no additional food available. I did just build a former, but food's in short supply. On the other hand, I can really use more bases. I subscribe to the ICS strategy, or infinite city sprawl, or infinite colony sprawl in this case. Um, not quite to the level of what you can do in Civ 2, but basically I build very large numbers of cities. Um, Civ 1 used to have different definitions for the types of player that you are. I am a expansionist, which is to say that I expand extremely fast and try to take up as much space as possible. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start moving around my colony pod. Turn complete. Terraform Just exploring. So, this spot, um, this is over a thousand meters, so it's plus one energy. Uh, it's rolling, so it's plus one resource, and it's moist, which is plus one food. So this should be one one one. And as clicked here, one one zero. Oh, I forgot. Energy only counts when you actually build a solar panel. So if I were to build a farm plus a solar panel, that would be two food one mineral and two energy, which is exactly what I'm going to do. There's actually a keyboard command to be able to do farm, um, it's farm, mine, and road, or farm, solar panel, and road. I'm going to do farm, solar panel, and road at the same time. Uh, so, see, farm, solar, road. Very convenient. Oh, I have another network node, or alien Very artifact. Eh, cannot speak today. There's a lot of graphical glitches. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and continue scouting. This guy is going to come back here. That is not the route I want to go. I would rather go the long way and not have to touch any fungus. So, I have completed my forest. Forests, like kelp farms, will grow by themselves. Um, they grow faster in rainier climates, and they will encroach upon fungus, which is quite nice if you have a heavily fungus area and you don't particularly want to waste the time in converting it from fungus to... Uh, non-fungus. You can just plant a couple of forests and come back in a decade. Well, a decade would be a little short. Come back in a century. Uh, let's see. 
I want to build over here. Right here. I have to get used to holding down shift because I don't have a numlock on this keyboard for some reason. See, so you've gone 10 minutes, you can go another 5 minutes, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, a tidal wave. So, one of the random events when you have either land or sea, sea version is a tidal wave, land version is a dimensional portal, dimensional gate, dimensional gate, um, is that you can be swept away by it. You end up in a different spot, it's typically somewhere nearby, and you get to move again, which is very convenient. I typically don't mind being in those. Recovered. I have the Comlink frequency for Lady Deidre of the Guidance. So um, one of the things that you can get in the pods are Comlink frequencies. So I can now speak with another faction, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and check my um, social engineering. Uh, Lady DJ prefers green. I believe this tells me if I do faction profile. Yeah. Um, her agenda is green economics, which means that she likes. Uh, she's happy when you are running a green economy. I don't have green. I don't have any economic model that I can do right now, so she's not going to get angry at me for it. Uh, she's a pacifist, which means that she won't typically attack. The fact that I'm on transcend means that that's a dirty, rotten liar. Um, according to my current report, she has no specialty, so no specialized politics, no specialized economics, no specialized values, and nobody would have a future society necessarily. I'm going to talk to her. Because I don't know where she's at, and it's always helpful to have allies. Welcome to Planet, Chairman Yang. You bring many unique talents to our new world. Permit me to introduce ourselves. Myself. I now style myself as Deidre, Lady of the Gaians. And on this world, I plan to guard, understand, and preserve this planet's nat native life. I am terrible at speaking. Oh, so it looks like that my might is pathetic by comparison to hers. What that means is that I have fewer military units. Um, I believe the way the game handles figuring out your military power is summing up all of the power of your units, which means that she either has a large number of units or she has lasers. Um, being somebody that's played this game quite a bit, I can easily tell what the AI has based off of just random cues. Alright, so she immediately wants me to... Um, she's claiming that I am violating the UN Charter. This is actually demanding tribute. Um, I am stronger than her. All right, she is stronger than me, thus she feels as though she wants to demand tribute. I'm perfectly okay with giving away Doctrine Loyalty. It's the tech for um, police state. As long as I get something back, which I wanted Social Psych. Uh, social Psych allows me to have recreation commons. You're hearing the speech. I'll shut up for a bit. A possibility. For only in such a state will those rule who are truly rich, not in gold, but in the wealth that makes happiness, a good and wise life. Plato, the Republic, data link. <laughs> Let's see, is the speech done? <laughs> Sounds like it's done. Um, yep, it's done. So, um, Rec Commons gives me... The abil or a building that allows me to reduce the drones of my colony by two. Um, I already have Doctrine Loyalty, so that doesn't help me. I can also research Ethical t Calculus, which gives me a Children's Courage and Democracy. I can't build Democracy, so that part doesn't help, but the Children's Courage is great. And also leads towards Secrets of the Human Brain, which is kind of worthless now. Um, the Gaians want a Treaty of Friendship. Treaties of Friendship in this game mean two things. One, you're not going to attack each other, and two, you can't step in each other's territory. Um, to my knowledge, I don't share land with Gaia, so I definitely don't mind not stepping in her territory. Uh, the game, for some reason, doesn't include sea units in that, even though there's sea territory. That's really obnoxious. I really wish it would have. I'm perfectly fine with having an ally, or a friend, I should say. Um, she's still non-committal, which means that she doesn't like me all that much. However, I would like some of her research data. Uh, let's see. She'll give me Doctrine Mobility, and in exchange I give her maps, which is fine in my mind. Um, I would like to see her maps, but beggars can't be choosers. She has more tech than me. I am willing to Once take it. Once a man has changed the relationship between himself and his environment, he cannot return to the blissful ignorance yes. he left. Motion of necessity involves a change in perspective. Nope. Commissioner Previn Lal 
A Social History of Planet. Now, she, now he's done. Well, I'll speak so slowly. Um, so this gives me a new chassis. I will get to that momentarily. Um, actually, I will get to that next time. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video once I'm done talking with Deidre. Uh, 15 minutes is my make or break point, really. Um, this also gives me the ability to build Doctrine Flexibility in the future, which is C units, which is great. And I already have Doctrine Loyalty. I can also build a Command Center, which increases morale on land units by 2. We haven't really done a whole bunch with morale yet. Ah, so she also has a Human Genome Project. Human Genome Project tech is Secrets of the Human ba Brain, if I remember right. Is it? I can't remember now. But yeah, the AI likes telling you things that it probably shouldn't need to. Uh, let's find out. Do, 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 do. Secret projects. Secrets of the human brain. No, nope, not secrets of the human brain. Uh, human genome project. Biogenetics. Ah, it's the other requirement for secrets of the human brain. In any case, internet, I'm stopping this one here. I will probably continue immediately after because, well, it feels like I should probably do two of the